hello everyone today in this video we are going to talk about electric charges so after this video you should be able to explain the cause of charging and state the properties of charges so you might have observed when we rub a scale on our head then the scale start attracting pieces of paper charge is the main reason behind this phenomenon when a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth the glass rod starts pulling the pieces of paper and this happens because this object is charged so charge object can attract pieces of paper and this was first observed by the greek philosopher thales around 600 bc and he found that when amber was rubbed with silk cloth the amber starts attracting pieces of paper when a glass rod is rubbed with silk cloth both of them get charged the glass rod get positively charged and silk cloth get negatively charged and similarly if you take the another pair of glass rod and silk cloth then we have the positive glass rod and negative silk cloth so both the glass rod will get the same kind of charge so when we keep one glass rod like this and when we bring another glass rod near then it repel this glass so from this experiment we can conclude that the like charges repel each other because we know both the glass rod were having the same charge so in second case we are taking glass rod and silk cloth and glass rod is getting one kind of charge and silk cloth is getting another kind of charge so when a plastic rod is rubbed with woolen cloth that time plastic rod will get negatively charged and woolen cloth get positively charged now if you do the same thing if you bring this rod together then they attract each other so from this experiment we can conclude that unlike charges attract each other because the glass rod and the plastic rod were charged differently so they attracted each other now we can conclude many thing from the above experiment when two objects are rubbed they get charged oppositely so there are two kinds of charges in this case glass rod is positive silk cloth is negative and in this case plastic rod is negative woolen cloth is positive so there are two types of charges and the name given to these two charges were positive and negative and the name was given by benjamin franklin next we know this glass rod and glass rod repel each other so like charges repel each other and we know glass rod and plastic rod they attract each other so unlike charges attract each other polarity polarity is the name given to the charge or nature of the charge so in glass rod and silk cloth whatever charge is there in the glass rod we call it positive charge so the charge acquired by the glass rod when rubbed with silk cloth is called positive charge similarly we can define negative charge also so it is the charge acquired by the silk cloth when rubbed with glass rod so we talked about glass rod and silk cloth so there are other pairs of object which get charged when rubbed with each other so these are woolen cloth and amber rod woolen cloth plastic wooden carpet rubber shoe cats for ebonoid rod dry hair and plastic comb so we can remember this table just by remembering this glass rod and silk cloth so we can memorize this table like this so first we have to memorize this pair glass rod is positive and silk cloth is negative and out here we have the cloth which is negative but this side all the cloths are positive so only in this case silk cloth is getting negative but in other cases all the cloth type objects are getting positive so woolen cloth woolen cloth woolen carpet cats for dry hair so these are all cloth type object and out here glass rod is getting positive and all other rod type objects so like amber rod plastic rubber 
ebonoid plastic so these are rod like objects are getting negative so only in this case we are getting rod positive cloth negative cloths are positive and rods are negative now let's understand how the objects are charged so let's take an example of beryllium atom so this is the beryllium atom and from our junior class we know atoms are made out of electrons protons and neutrons so in beryllium atom we have four negatively charged electrons four positively charged protons and we already know electrons are negatively charged and protons are positively charged and five neutral neutrons so out here you can see number of electrons and number of protons are equal so that's why this atom is neutral it is not charged so out here you can see electrons are revolving around the atoms and they are held to the atom by electrostatic attraction between this positive and negative charge and these electrons can be easily removed because they are at far distance electrostatic force decreases with the distance so electrons can be removed easily but these protons cannot be removed easily because they are held together by strong nuclear force and we know nuclear force is stronger than electrostatic force so in order to take the proton it takes lots of energy so proton cannot be removed now let's see what happens when an electron is removed so this is the same atom so i'm taking away one electron so you can see number of positive charges more than the number of negative charge so i can say atom is positively charged because it has more positive charge than negative charged so in order to charge an object positively we have to remove electrons so now what happens if we give extra electron to an atom so out here you can see electrons are more so negative charge is more than positive charge so atom is negatively charged because number of negatively charged electron is more than the number of positively charged protons so in order to charge an atom negatively we have to give extra electrons now does the mass of an object affected on charging so if we charge an object will its mass change or not so we know electron has some mass and the mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so in order to charge an object we have to either give electron or take away the electron so when we give the electron we are giving the mass of the electron that means the mass of an object changes on charging so out here you can see when an atom loses one electron it becomes positively charged so that time we are removing the electron as the electron has some mass so we are taking away some mass so that means when you make an object positively charged the mass of the object decreases and out here i'm making it negatively charged so i'm adding one extra electron that means you are adding extra mass when you charge something negatively its mass increases because of increase in number of electron unit of charge is coulomb and we know current is charged by time so we can write charge is equal to current into time so we can find the dimension of charge so charge is dimension of current into dimension of time so dimension of current is ampere a and for time i can write t so in proper form we can write dimension of charge is equal to m0 l0 t1 e1 these are the notes which we have discussed you can pause the video and copy the notes and you can try these questions these are the important questions from this topic so now let's summarize the video in an atom there are equal number of negatively charged electron and positively charged proton and when we take away the electron the atoms become positively charged and when we give extra electron it becomes negatively charged so the transfer of electron is the cause of charging so we can charge an object by adding electron or removing electrons but we cannot add or subtract protons because they are held together by strong nuclear force so it takes lots of energy to remove a proton 
and as an electron has some mass so while charging the mass of the object get changed so when you make it negatively charged the mass increases when you make it positively charged the mass decreases so this is the end of the video